Hello and welcome guys to a new series on the channel, where I will show you how to build a PC on a set budget. Today we have a budget of 400 euros. On this budget it is actually possible to build a PC that is capable of gaming and streaming. My build has a small bottleneck, but if you save your money where I didn't, the price will be well under 400 euros. So this leaves headroom for you to include a better CPU, which is the part I would upgrade in my build. But without further ado, let's get into the video, shall we? For the CPU we have an Intel Core i5-6500, it's a 4 core 4 fed CPU running at a max turbo of 3.6 GHz. Having a 4 core non hyper CPU in 2023 is a big no no as games such as Warzone 2.0 just don't run on that, so investing in a 4 core 8 threaded CPU like an i7-6700 or an AMD equivalent like a Ryzen 5 1400 or any other 4 core hyper threaded CPU would be a better choice. Go with whichever you get for the cheapest amount of money. Just don't go with one that's older than 6th gen Intel or 1st gen Ryzen. This CPU was a part of the CPU model for cooler combo I got for 8 euros. It included an ASRock H110HDV motherboard, the CPU and a Yonspo RGB cooler. I did not have motherboard combo deals in my area other than that, so I bought it. I hoped it had an M.2 slot but sadly it didn't so I went with a SATA SSD. For the RAM I got this Kingston Fury 2x8GB kit that's running at 2666MHz for 46 euros. For Intel builds you really don't need much faster RAM. This RAM looks pretty clean with its black heat spreader and it fits into the build perfectly. If you can't find this one, then find a RAM kit that is around the same price point, that's 2666 MHz or more with decent timing. Next we have storage and this is the Patriot P210 SATA 512GB SSD. I got it for 26 euros and in my opinion it's a killer deal. I got it a few euros off from 30 euros with the coupon code, but I will include the price without the coupon code in the total build price. If you can't find the P210, then a Burst Elite one is around the same price point. Links to different alternatives of my build will be included in the description. Now the PSU. This is the calling module power of 700 Watt. It's a CTR rated unit that's semi-modular and it only costs 57 euros. For a modular unit, it's pretty good. I picked this one as it was the fastest one to ship. If I had more time, I would have chosen a 600W non modular calling classic PSU for 43 euros. The store that sells it might take a month to ship it. If you can't find this one, then I recommend at least a 550W 80 plus bronze unit that's at least C tier or better on the PSU tier list. Link in the description. For the case, I just chose a cheap RGB case that only costs 49 euros. It's the Calling Inspire K8. In the US it's pretty hard to find something like this, so I would just search for a cheap good looking case that fits your motherboard. I really didn't like the cable management in this case, as it didn't have a cutout for a CPU power cable on the top, and I had to route it over the motherboard with a zip tie. It looks great though, with its glass side panel, PSU shroud and cool pattern on the front panel. Now the juice of our PC, the GTX 1660 Ti. I got it for 140 euros, which is on the higher side of prices, so you could probably beat me on this one, as they usually go for around 120 euros, or you could go for the 1660 Super, which you might get for even 10 dollars less. Both of the GPUs are great for playing AAA titles on 1080p, which I will prove to you in the benchmarking section. You'll probably get much more FPS if you go for a better CPU, so keep that in mind. Anyways, cue the montage and the benchmarks. <laughs> As you saw from the montage, the PC looked amazing, so it's even good for a flip which I will do with that PC. 
if you change out the CPU inside it for one that's a bit better, you'll have a great time playing any game, except for Portal RTX of course. Link to some parts I used or equivalent to them and the PSU tier list will be in the description. If you like this video, just click on the like button, it's just a simple click and it helps me a lot. This was Spaceman Tech, see you next time, peace.